custom ROMs can offer a lot of things that the stock firmware just can't. The biggest example here is obviously features. Community developers can pack in more features in a custom ROM than what most Android OEMs are comfortable with doing. But it can also offer faster updates and even just updates in general when an OEM has stopped updating their device. So today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on the OnePlus 3. To do this you will have to have an unlocked bootloader so that you can install a custom recovery. And then you will need to go ahead and download a custom ROM that you want to install along with a gapps package. Now if you look in the description below you're gonna find a link to the full tutorial that I have written out and that tutorial includes direct links to where you can get both the custom ROM as well as a gapps package for you to install. These things come in zip files Let's see, I'm going to install the unofficial Cyanogen Mod 13 in an open gapps package. After you have downloaded those, you want to move or copy those to your OnePlus 3. And then you'll want to reboot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode. Now some custom ROMs come with specific instructions. For example, some custom ROMs will require you to use a certain gapps package. So be sure to check the first, I'd say two or three posts of the thread for the custom ROM that you're installing just to get an idea of what is required. For example, on this unofficial CM13, it is required that you do not boot into CM13 before you flash the gapps package. This is something you'll normally do anyway, but some people choose to flash their gapps package later, and doing that for this current version of CM13 can cause errors. So once we boot into recovery mode, we're going to tap on the wipe, the wipe button and then the advanced wipe button. We want to select these four partitions, making sure to keep the internal storage partition unchecked. We're going to swipe this these white arrows to the right to go ahead and perform the wipe. And we want to do that just so we have a clean system before we install CM13 or the custom ROM of your choice. Once the wipe is done, tap the home button to go back to the twerp main menu. And then we're going to tap on the install button. And unless you've been through here before, you're going to be presented with this screen with all of your folders. We just need to browse to the location where you have moved or copied the custom ROM and the gapps package files. You want to tap on the custom ROM zip file first. And then we're going to tap this add more zips button. Next, we're going to tap on the gapps package that we downloaded. So now we have two files added to the queue. And now we just swipe the white arrows to the right 
to begin the process. As you can see, first we're installing CM13. Once CM13 completes its installation, it will move on to installing OpenG apps. OpenG apps has a number of different variants for you to choose from. You can see I went with Micro but there and that means that it's just a smaller set of apps you can get for example stock or full and that will come with a lot more apps the bigger your G apps package the longer it will take to install all of them once the custom ROM and your gapps package has been installed you'll be greeted with these two buttons at the bottom out of habit I just tap the wipe cache and Dalvik just just to make sure everything's clean it shouldn't be required but it's just something I do out of habit and then you just tap the reboot system button This is going to take us through the typical boot animation sequence. And as you can see, now we're getting taken to the Cyanogen Mod 13 boot animation. This is going to be just like as if you had done a factory reset or just pulled the phone out of the box. And you're going to need to set up and activate. Android. This first boot is most likely going to take longer because it's setting everything up. Subsequent reboots after this will boot up like normal since it won't have to set everything up each time you reboot. No, it's going through the optimizing apps process. It's going to need to optimize 121 apps for my current setup, which means the custom ROM I chose along with the OpenG apps package I chose. If you went with a larger G apps package or a different custom ROM, this number of total apps will be different. I'm just going to let it boot up all the way so you can see it actually taking me to Android and that everything was installed properly.
almost done. Finishing the boot now. And this is your standard activation screen for CyanogenMod.